Hey guys, today we are row crop cultivating some soybeans. Um, yesterday I was doing this swell on this exact same field. Like I said, um, this is a 312 acre field. We have 305 done. I'll show you. This last pass here, we're gonna have to jump over about 24 times. There's a lot of angles and point rows and it's not gonna be very fun. Basically just playing with my speed and my pitch. Able to go consistently anywhere from three to four and a half, sometimes five. Yesterday I was able to get five because the wind when it was laying the beans this way, I was going this way against it. So the beans would just stand straight up and it worked out really well. I'm only going about four right now. Basically just jumping over a row here and there to um my game is off. These angles are a pain in the butt. Whoever did it before me jumped in a little bit different spots, so it's kinda difficult. I have to run over a little bit of extra beans, which I don't like doing, but the previous um, equipment. Was run a little bit differently here. As you can see, we got some tracks out there where somebody didn't shift over one time. It looks like it was costly. Yeah, there's not a row of beans out there where there should be. There's the beans. Shift over right here. Right here. Whew. The saw is heavy. Cockerbirds in here. Hopefully, get them knocked out. Getting close to the end. I've been working on this pass for about an hour now, or close to an hour. By the time I get to the end, it will be about an hour and five minutes. It'll take this, this one pass. <laughs> it's just crazy. Shift over again right here.
Well, that's a wrap. You see we have a couple sets of tracks here. These are the right ones though, so that's good. We're gonna head out of here. Um, I'm gonna shut down my constant flow there. So now my guidance hitch is off. That's off, camera that's what it does. So yeah, we're gonna fold this thing up and I'll show you how I do that. elevating about five mile an hour these beans are pretty big here they're also pretty dirty in a lot of the spots there's some grass everywhere some weeds there's a whole lot of everything on this field so hopefully I can keep my speed up I got one row right there that just it's like I got drove over at one point because it's pretty small compared to everything else these beans are huge and then there's this little row that didn't didn't do what the rest did. There's also these little white posts, little PVC that I about hit every single time. I think I'll miss that one. Yikes! Have about that much room. So I can tell you. From being in the cab. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, no, that is good. Never mind. I thought that was a bean. I mean, yeah, this is that's what I want. Right there. Everything like that. Well, that didn't get uprooted, but buried it. And that's kind of what I want. Not burying too much. Ah, uh, this I don't like. Here's a This row right here must be throwing some dirt because it's throwing a lot. A lot, a lot. What row is that? Um, one, two, three, four, nine. Nine from my right. Um, I also need to get in the center of my tractor. This one I want to get more aggressive as well. Out there, everything looked fine. I mean, there's some beans down from the tine weeder and the thing swayed a little bit, but I mean, the whole row isn't like that. That was just right there. Oh, that's, rocks are like hitchhikers. If you don't make eye contact, you don't have to pick them up. I didn't see that one. Or, wait, what was I talking about? Was I talking about a rock or something? That's good. I wish it would have gotten this though. See, there's beans in here. Oh, I'm not so sure. And that is second to the outside row. This is this is good. This is really good. I like seeing this. I mean, this is all loose. I wish I could bury it more. So I'm wondering if I should go more aggressive because now that I look at the rest of the row, it is really fine. So second to the inside, I'm going to go a little bit more. Um, my center. And then the, what was it, the, oh geez, I don't even know. What row was it that I was gonna, 
Was I gonna bring one down or uh, out? I feel like I was gonna bring one out. Yeah, this row. Yeah, nine. So I gotta do center, I gotta do nine from the right, and then I gotta do um, two. This one. Oh, it's so high now. I cannot reach. So basically what this does right here, this thing, it's a crank. Raises, lowers this wheel. Uh, shows your depth. So I want to get this more aggressive. So I'm going to turn it counterclockwise one crank and it brings my wheel up a little bit i'm gonna probably try one crank for now my center i'm gonna go two cranks for sure we'll try that i don't know what that's gonna do and then i need nine We're gonna try that. Add a little bit of a breakdown. That's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to look like that. So I got another one of these arms coming. Um, hopefully soon. Got it all apart already. I just need my arm. I don't know what size it was, so I grabbed like everything. But we should be back in business shortly. It also started like raining for a second there. There's like a zero percent chance today, zero uh, percent chance of rain today, and it started raining. That's good. That's good. That's good. I want to get this. I can't get that. That's good. It's buried. Oh, and it's loose. Good. You know, all this is just, it's nice. That's what I like to see. Um, now this is kind of a rough area, obviously, because it's got this intake here. Uh, yeah, it's a bit rough. It's kind of down in here a little bit, so I can't really get much in here. I mean, this is, that's nice to see. I mean, I got those. Didn't get that. These beans are huge compared to some other stuff. The past couple of fields I've worked have just been massive, massive beans. It's good to see. It means next time through is gonna be even more fun. Go a lot faster, throw a lot more dirt around. And these are just beautiful soybeans. This field isn't the cleanest, but it's definitely not terrible. I mean, around the outside, there was some grass and some weeds, but I mean, this is about all the more, that's probably the worst I've seen in a spot. Other than that, as you can see, it's not too bad. So yeah, now I sit and wait for my arm to come.
to the next field. This thing is wide and it is heavy. Mailboxes are your worst enemy. Same like time readers. Power lines, overhead power lines are your worst nightmare. Mailboxes are your worst nightmare in this thing. Until this happened, I don't even, like, I've never even seen this before. The rubber tread is off, and that is just mangled. I caught it right as it happened, though. I stopped right up here. I'll run up here so you can see. So I stopped right up there. You can kind of see there. And it happened. About right here you can kind of see where the track is dark so I don't know if it hits something right here I can't feel any rocks or anything in here in the ground it doesn't feel overly solid so I'm not really sure what happened it just kind of self-destructed I guess I don't know but yeah that's gonna put an end to my night it's 8 15 already and uh, I have no extra gauge wheels anywhere near me. By the time I get back here and get that, uh, get a new one put on, it'd be nine, like 9.30, so. Yeah, and by then the camera wouldn't even work anyways. So I'm gonna wait till tomorrow uh, to get that fixed, and then I'll hopefully finish this field, and then there's one little other piece we gotta do before we uh, start over on the next pass. All right. Day number two, got that gauge wheel fixed, ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah, hopefully knock out this field and then one more yet today. And this is probably gonna either, we're gonna either drop this cultivator and put this tractor on a three sweep or there's already gonna be one on a three sweep, I don't really know. All right, so I'm kinda gonna show you how all this works here and what does what. Briefly. Um, when I get to the end, what do I do? What do I hit? Um, so this right here is your camera. It's loose. I need a wrench and a tight tent. At this point, it's not really worth it. That's your camera. I don't know if you can see it, but it's monitoring the rows right here. You see in these two rows. And that's what runs my guidance hitch. Um, this right here is all the controls for the guidance hitch, if I want to offset it, uh, half inch or an inch, right or left, uh, I can manually slide it, uh, it activates my guidance on the hitch, the camera, I can recenter it, all that fun stuff. And then obviously I got my agenda here, guidance monitor here. So as I come, come up on the end, um, about five feet before I get to the end, I shut the camera off because it gets really confused when I can't see the rows. So about right there, I'll shut the gates off. And then right as you come into the rows, you dump your dump into your clutch and your brake, and you come to a complete stop. And then what you do is your camera's off. I got this one right here. I got my head relic number four on my three-point pitch. So I'll pull that back, and then number one is my wings, and then I'll pull my three-point up, and it'll lift the whole cultivator up so I can turn without dragging it um, in the bean rows. up 
on your row. Kind of get as center as you can. Normally, you center your line with these. And then you stop right on the edge of the row. And you do it pretty much backwards. So you grab your wings, the elevator, and pitch, going, guidance, and then you go with some speed. Especially if there's grass right there. dirt as possible. That's what this is right there. Good. Most of them. Yeah, never mind. Um, trying to roll as much dirt as possible and throw it on the rows. Not to bury the beans, but you want to crown it up at the base of the 